Hello everyone and welcome back to CodeFlix. So in the last video, we saw what undefined is and what not a number is. And so in this video, we will be starting with the loops in JavaScript. So there are many types of loops. First, we will be, uh, be focusing on the if else else if loops. So let's start. I will make a file called loop.js and let's declare a variable is active as true and then it is a simple if so you write if is active then you do something so i'll console log something that the value is true and if not i will console something like the value is false and so that's it that's the if else in a javascript let's start with running so i'll write node loop.js as it shows the value is true if it is false and i again run it it shows the value is false yeah so that's what conventional if else should work now i give quotes to the false now what do you think what will come it says the value is true. Now, uh, along with that, I'll console dot log the type of is active. So let's just go. It's a string and it has a value. So if it has a value, it will pass the if. Now to make this condition false, I pass on empty is active. It goes, it says the value is false. It still shows its string. But the value is false now i pass undefined before it was defined like before it was defined as an empty string so it used a type of is active but now let's pass an empty one and run a program again it shows undefined and as it is undefined it won't pass this if and rather it will go to the else so that's how the if else works now let's say we give num equal to 10 and we give a type of num and a if is num less than 9 the value is less than 9 then we give an else if so we will make an else if so this is how we write an else if num greater than 10 and num less than 19 so this is the and operator that's how we can use an and operator here and we write something here also like console.log and the value is between 10 and 19 and the rest is a else part which we can keep it as it is value is greater than 20 or let's say 19 yeah so this is the conventional if else if else block nested let's run this and it says it's a type of number which is obvious and the value is greater than 10 it goes on here if i give the value 9 the value is greater than 19 so it was less than 9 so i have to give it less than equal to then if i give it's the value is less than 9 so here also I'll give less than equal to so that's how our conventional if else works here if I give a value of 25 yeah so the value is greater than 19 so this is just a conventional if else if else statements or nested if statements and that's how it works in JavaScript in the next videos we'll see further more tutorials on JavaScript basics so Tune in. Thank you for watching and hope it helps.